Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and thanks for watching. Wanted to share with you uh, my look at Linux Mint 18 XFCE edition. And uh, I titled this Magic Carpet Ride because, you know, sometimes you don't know what you will find until you kind of jump on the magic carpet or do the install in this case, if you will. And that's what I did. So over the last day and a half or so, I've spent some time with Linux Mint 18 XFCE, and I really like XFCE with Linux Mint. Um, you know, for whatever reason, Cinnamon Desktop has just never felt, uh, you know, overly fast to me. It's 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 felt light enough, I guess, but it's just never felt super fast. And I like it. It's it's okay, but it's you know, it's just one of those things where I've never been drawn to it. Um, with XFCE, the more I use it, the more I like it. Uh, I like that it's very light. So at cold boot, this came in uh, at 347 megabytes of RAM usage, which is you know very good. Uh, it boots extremely fast, uh, about uh, 12 second boot time the minute you see the uh, Dell logo. Now I've got this running on a Core i5 system with an SSD drive with 8 gigs of RAM, so it's going to run fast. Your mileage may vary there, but certainly XFCE is a light desktop, and I love the way um, the way that you can go in and configure XFCE but still remain light. So um, I've got some theming going on here, which I'm going to share with you, but I want to go in and talk about some of the features here. And while Linux Mint 18 is certainly not new, it's you know it's been out for a while now. I still want to cover some of these things because these are the reasons that I decided to go back in and give Linux Mint XFCE a, a real strong look here. Um, and one of those reasons are the uh, XApps. So uh, they're calling this project XApps. And they want to take advantage of GTK3 and high D DPI support and really a more modern uh, technology, if you will. So their idea there is to have a traditional user interface throughout the title bars and menu bars. And I think that's an area that all of Linux could benefit from. So there's, you know, there's various distributions where you just run into inconsistencies with the user interface. And when you do, it kind of takes away from the experience. Um, you know, you, you want to find balance there. You want to see a simple, clean interface. But at the same time, you want to be able to uh, control things to your liking and set up things to your liking. And so striking that balance is sometimes hard. But having uh, a more generic, uh, they call it uh, distro agnostic look here, um, I, I think is good. And, and that's why one of the reasons I wanted to spend more time with Linux Mint 18 and, and just kind of get a better feel for it, if you will. So um, so with the X apps, you're going to see uh, various things here. You're going to see um, XED, which is um, based on Pluma and acts as the default text editor. Um, X Viewer, which is based on Eye of Gnome as the image viewer, uh, X Reader um, here for PDF, X Player, which is based on Totem, and so they've incorporated the you know X app um, look or, or whatever you want to call it into several of the applications. So that was one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I really wanted to spend some time with this. Also. Again, as I said earlier, I've really come to appreciate XFCE, and this is version 4.12 of XFCE, running on um, the Ubuntu base of 16.04 with kernel 4.4. .4. So uh, there's been some uh, changes here, updates to the update manager, and certainly the, the update manager is one of the areas where I always applaud Linux Mint and what they did there. They pioneered some things. And uh, with this new update manager, you have some options there for kernel that weren't there in previous versions. So, um, you know, they have a rating system and everything like that for those of you, you know, that are new to Linux Mint. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, lots of nice additions here, and it's, you know, built off of a very stable base. They've also included some really nice themes, uh, Mint X themes that... Um, you know, they continue to improve on. And so that just lends to a, a consistent look. You kind of know what you're going to get uh, when you jump into a Mint distro. Added wallpapers and that kind of thing. 
<clears throat> excuse me, other improvements, high DPI support improved in Linux Mint 18, so that includes Firefox and all X apps. And so we're going to take a look at those X apps and that kind of thing. So, and then this is LTS strategy here. We'll receive security updates until 2021. So long support there. Now, so far, like I said, the speed and everything, XFCE just really feels right here. The speed, uh, the ability to go in, and again, I'll get into some of the theming that I've done here. Uh, but let's just take a look at uh, a few other things here. Again, on the welcome screen, you've got documentation. You can launch right into apps. Uh, you could go into drivers, and that's uh, an area that makes it nice for someone setting up Linux Mint for the first time. Linux Mint does a great job uh, putting things in place for a new user or putting things in place for just a user in general to easily go in and configure the desktop, get it set up and get it running and move on with things. So here, you know, the only... Uh, driver that I needed to be concerned with was the Intel Micro. This is pretty much an Intel based system so I don't have a lot to do there. It just kind of uh, everything kind of sets up and runs uh, right out of the box which is nice. Um, so you could easily go and set up your drivers, get right into forums, chat room, um, and of course the ever important donations for all the hard work that goes into this. So I want to jump in and just kind of talk about a few of the apps that we were talking about earlier, which are X apps. So if we go into multimedia and we look at videos, for example, and I'll um, let me let me take this down a little bit here. Uh, actually, come on, window manager. All right, there we go. Um, if we take this down a little bit here, so you just see here, it's kind of a gray, pretty generic, pretty basic looking, but you know, clean and simple. Um, interface and I want to pull up another app beside that just so you can see kind of the consistency there and we'll go to pics um, so let's go ahead and minimize that window some and so again you see um, you know very basic um, let me go in here something is not right with videos the way it launched there we go okay I'm not sure what was going on there for a minute but uh, you see kind of a rounded corner, which gives it a, a nice look. Now, I've gone in and I've turned off uh, a few effects. So normally what you would see under here would be shadows. Under any open windows, you'd see a shadow under the title bar. And, you know, while that looks nice, I, I tend to just turn those kinds of things off. Um, but at any rate, you see the consistency here. While it is, you know, again, kind of vanilla and plain, it serves the purpose and, and gives a really nice consistent look. And that's really what I wanted to see and spend time with. And seeing that, I just feel like, um, you know, you see that some in KDE Plasma 5.8 now with uh, QT. So the QT apps are all starting to look very similar. And it just for me, that just improves the overall experience for, for a user, be it a new user um, you know, it's impressive to someone coming into a Linux distro after, um, <laughs> you know, years of working with older versions of Linux and you come into a version here where things really become consistent and, and have a unified feel to them. So, you know, yeah, maybe I've spoke about that enough, but I think it's important. So, and, and they're just doing a really good job here in Linux Mint with that, I think. So, you know, could you change some things or improve some things here with this X app look? I, yeah, probably could. You could, you know, depending on uh, personal preference, maybe, you know, go in and enlarge a few things or, or whatever there. But uh, for the most part, I think, you know, mission accomplished. So I'm going to close those out. Uh, as I said earlier, I've got some things here that are pretty heavily themed. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the themes built in <clears throat> where they've done a really nice job. So we'll go into appearance here and um, let me see if I can maximize that. Well, that that maximized there we go okay took it a second and so what you see here are a lot of the mint X themes and they're very nice um, again very consistent throughout the uh, you know the user experience you're you're seeing consistency in everything from the XFCE panel to um, you know file manager panel and it just really works well throughout the system so um, mint x blue just attractive colors attractive combinations and also arc 
was pre-installed and I'm not familiar here with Arc Brave but um, you had Arc Dark as well and then some of the default XFCE apps or excuse me themes in place now as far as icons so I went with Mint X Aqua as far as icons um, I added two sets of icons now a few weeks ago oh I'm gonna say four or five weeks ago I did um, a video and I was illustrating I was illustrating um, theming on a particular distro and I'm, I just don't recall right now what that distro was uh, but I highlighted the Rayfinity icons in that video and I just want to point those out again because I find myself going back to Rayfinity for not only for icons but if you go to um, go to their website and go to our themes and work you'll see vibrancy and vivacious and then you'll see for an overall theme you'll see ambience and radiance and so I just want to throw out Rayfinity to you again I want to bring that to your attention again because I just find that it's it's very professional and I know you see arc a lot uh, arc is used a lot and there's really some high quality icons and themes on the scene now but um, I just applaud Rayfinity for their work and um, you know go in there and check it out and if you like what you see there you could contribute in various ways um, you know you can always uh, throw a few bucks their way some some beer money their way for their work and uh, so just again I want to applaud that and that's what I have in place here so um, you see the uh, Rayfinity icons in place here let's go back into appearance and in this particular case I am using uh, vibrancy non mono um, and that is a let's drag that over a light aqua so very nice look very professional look and you know for me Linux Mint has always been kind of the dark I mean it's always felt kind of dark and a little dull and although it's professional um, it's just I don't know it's like always just been their default themes is, have always been just a little too dark and dull so I'm glad to see them uh, updating some things there with Mint X themes and um, just adding these brightly colored icons and things like that to me just give it a fresher feel overall I'm you know extremely pleased with the combination of XFCE and Linux Mint and I like having uh, you know it's nice having the a good selection of icons or excuse me of applications <laughs> pre-installed and and things really kind of set up for you out of the box for the most part there's just not a lot that you need to go in and add and so you know if you haven't and I wanted to just take the time to point this out that if you haven't taken the time to uh, check out Linux Mint XFCE and maybe you're looking for a little different experience and you know maybe you're looking for um, you know ways to customize things that that you haven't before and I'll just give you an idea of that so I changed the icon here in the XFCE launcher and you can you can go in and do that very easily with uh, whisker menu settings here you can go in and uh, change that icon you could download an icon or find something in the system that you want to use in its place I turn, turned off the application description and I also put the category setting or the category list here on the left so lots of control there in the whisker menu settings you can drag this around I've shown this before you know you could make it very small you could take it out full screen practically um, you know I keep it about midway so that you're not doing a lot of scrolling and um, you know that's the kind of control and that's the kind of configuration that I appreciate seeing in whatever I use because I like to use things a certain way and I know many of you users at Linux users out there you appreciate that as well you you do things and use things a certain way just like you have certain applications that you use for various tasks and so you know here uh, you've got a little more configuration I believe than you do in the default cinnamon desktop and uh, you know maybe there are areas there that I'm missing because I simply don't use cinnamon that often but uh, anyway so I appreciate this combination I appreciate this setup 
And I'm glad I took the time to really go in and experience the X apps and that unified look and, and do a little tweaking and, and things like that to get this set up the way, you know, I prefer it. And I think if you're looking for something maybe new, maybe you're a fan of Mint, but you've never tried XFCE, I think this would give you, uh, you know, a new fresh feel. And for me, again, I want to say this again, because uh, perhaps some of you watching have experienced the same thing. Cinnamon has never felt to me particularly fast. It's very competent and capable as a desktop environment, and it's, you know, configurable. Um, but it just never, for me, it never did it enough to where I said, hey, this is my desktop of choice. So, uh, you know, maybe you feel the same way or you're just looking for something new to try. I would highly recommend trying XFCE on this. All right, well, I hope that helps and we will check you later.